In this video, we're gonna be using the Shaving Shop Club Signature Shaving Soap and the Rockwell 6C once again, stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And I gotta to admit, uh, today is kind of a, a rough day and it's actually been a rough few weeks um, and months, but let me start with the soap and then I'll get into um, the story. Today we're gonna be using uh, the Shaving Shop Club Signature Scent, which is absolutely for my nose, Phenomenal, phenomenal. Ah, bourbon, tobacco, sandalwood, uh, agar wood. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. Beautiful scent, scent strength. I call it about 5.5 to 6, slightly over medium. Just a magnificent scent. And you know the quality of this, which is the Kaizen base, is very, very good. The price on this is under $5 an ounce. And on our cost chart right there, that is a fair price. Now, that's if you get it in the Shaving Shop Club of which I am a, a proud uh, member. The ingredients on this, we'll put them right there. Excellent ingredients. Goat's milk, shea butter, kokum butter, uh, aloe, lanolin. You just can't beat the quality of the ingredients. And the uh, Ariana and Evans and Club offerings, they bring you very, very premium ingredients at a very fair price, in my opinion. And the scent on this one is just fantastic. As I mentioned before, we're gonna roll with the Rockwell 6C. Again, Astra SP is the blade, and we'll just go ahead and get into it. And this is just plain water. I'm gonna spray on my face, and yes, you can see the red spots continuing. That is the non-summer <laughs> skin. Um, I can't remember what this condition is called. I went to a dermatologist four years ago, but it doesn't have anything to do with shaving soap or anything like that. It's something you have to take medication for. And I don't. In the summer, the sun pretty much keeps it at bay. So I probably need a UV lamp or something. But anyway, let's get to lathering here. My lather's lost a little bit of hydration because it's been sitting in the bowl. And uh, I led saying it's been difficult because uh, I told you yesterday, one of my nephews, and by the way, he's an identical twin nephew, uh, Jacob, had to be rushed to the Cleveland Clinic because he was unable to urinate. Um, and last evening, we got a message that it is um, rhabdo. It's rhabdo my sarcoma. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Please forgive me. Um, it's a type of cancer. Six years old. Whew. You know, uh, I don't even know what to say about that. Obviously, it's... It weighs heavily on me with all the other things that have been health issues. Six years old, I'll show you a picture of he and I from about a year and a half ago there at the beach. That's at the Outer Banks, which is beautiful. Had a great time, by the way. This year, it, it rained all week. <laughs> it's just, 2020 has been a rough year, I think, for many people. And it's really rough in this circumstance because my brother-in-law, you know, my mother-in-law has cancer. It is not in remission. Um, and now my brother-in-law's, my nephew, has a type of cancer. Uh, hopefully, you know, from what I read, it's treatable. And we'll hope for the best. I mean, that's all you can do. But imagine the way my brother-in-law feels right now with his mother um, going through chemotherapy and his six-year-old one of uh, five children. And as I said, Jacob has an identical twin. Um, Jacob now will be going through likely chemotherapy and radiation at six years old. And so oh, it's just tough, you know? Um, and I can't imagine being a parent having to go through that and no parent should quite frankly but it's just one of those things where I just keep reminding people you know you don't know who the next person is that, that got that sort of news and so that's why I've been repeating over and over recently just be nice <laughs> be courteous be respectful try to give the benefit of the doubt if you can try to forgive if you can um, especially now with the the Rona, because it's making it very difficult because his mother is with him at the Cleveland Clinic, but um, 
My brother-in-law can't be there because he has to care for his other four kids. Nor can you have a bunch of people in the hospital right now anyway. So it's extremely difficult. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind and all the things that you do that, you know, a little bit of kindness will go a long way. A little bit of compassion. You just don't know. And for me, the last 2020 has been extremely difficult. You know, I'm here helping mom convalesce from a procedure. And we don't know whether it's cancer yet. Uh, the doctor suspects that it is and just... You know, it's just, uh, it weighs heavily on me. And, um, you know, I do, I do get some relief from talking about it, you know, with you folks, because there's so many, there's so many, uh, great people that offer those well wishes. And I do appreciate it. It does mean something to me, you know? And so, uh, thank you for those of you who have been there and lended support privately, publicly. Um, it is appreciated. I will not forget it. And I really do appreciate it. And just remember, um, you know, when there's time to be compassionate, be that way. Because if you're not, people will remember that too. They will. And uh, you don't want to kick a guy when he's down. I certainly don't. I, I don't want that on me. And so, anyway, we'll move beyond that because I don't want this to be a bummer. Shave. Okay, the Rockwell 6C. This is again on plate number six. And a viewer yesterday um, asked a question. Wouldn't a regular adjustable razor be a better option because you can adjust during the shave? So if you want to adjust settings during the shave, yes. But this razor is made to sort of pick a plate and sort of go with it for the shave. So if you're in a mood for a little more efficiency one day, you use the... Uh, you use whatever plate you like, and then maybe the next day you don't want as much fit efficiency, use something different. So that's really where the design shines. It, it can be many erasers in one. And uh, sure, you can take it apart and flip the plate over if you want to during the shave, but you know that's a little bit cumbersome. However, you know me, if it doesn't feel right and you're getting discomfort or maybe it's too efficient, switch it during the shave, you know. Um, I've always said that. So again, a lot of the things that new folks are hearing that I've said recently, I've been saying for years. They, I just didn't start saying them last week. And so you can go back and, and watch videos where I've said all these things. So, um, switch it up during the shave if need be. If there's discomfort, something is wrong. And so again, this is not this month, last month, or not the first time I've ever said that. Okay. Let's talk about the signature. So uh, Pete, I mentioned this in my video the other day, just announced the hiring of a staff person for customer service. So you're gonna be able to have a name and a face, somebody to reach out to for customer service issues. And I think that's phenomenal. I'll link the entire video below. I know that I saw yesterday, he actually made that hire. So that is positive. And I think that's gonna help people because every time I make one of these videos, I'll get some comments below where folks will say, uh, you know, I've had this issue or that issue. And uh, I have talked to Pete personally about this. And he's like, here's what I'm doing to, to work that out. I know it's not at the pace that some people would like. Um, and I understand that. You know me, I always say it's up to you to decide who you want to buy from and so on and so forth. But I will say that I, uh, I believe Pete, um, through these hirings, through the new facility, I believe you're going to see just better and better things from Pete. Now, I do want to caveat that I knew Pete as a hobbyist before he ever got into this business. And so we have a longstanding uh, relationship. That said, you can ask Pete, reach out to him and ask or ask him in the comments below how many times I've got on his nerves. Uh, we're all, well, really not got on his nerves, but he will be the first one to tell you that I have not been uh, afraid to make criticisms. In fact, I've gotten a lot of blowback, blow back. <laughs> not from Pete, because Pete has never given me a hard time. He takes the criticism and then he, you know, if it's something he, he can work on, he will. And, uh, you know, but other people have gotten upset. 
that I've gone a little too hard sometimes. Meanwhile, other people are like, yeah, he's a fanboy, you know, and it's like, okay, I can't be both. <laughs> so, um, but my feeling is the Shaving Shop Club and Ariana and Evans, you're probably just going to see better and better things in terms of service and products. Um, I know that's what he's working towards. And again, that's just my feelings. You don't have to agree. And we don't really have to like all the same brands and everything. And if we did, it would be quite boring, wouldn't it? So if you don't like it, that's okay. It doesn't mean we're mortal enemies because you don't like the Shaving Shop Club and, and A&E. But I do. And I'm going to keep liking them. <laughs> because, you know, the product speaks for itself, in my opinion. And yes, I've, I have complained about things um, on video here. Um, but I haven't had any issues recently. And to be fair, whenever I have had issues, Pete has adjusted them. I remember when I talked about the, uh, the like $15.99 shipping for three products, he fixed it. And so he does listen. And uh, this is his only job now. A lot of people don't realize a few months ago, Pete lost a job he had for, I think, I want to say 30 years. And so that was quite a, a difficult time again. And he didn't really drone on about it publicly, but it was hard. And I talked to him about it, you know. And so making this transition has not been easy. And I'm sure he's made some mistakes along the way. But as I often say, who hasn't? I've made plenty of mistakes and I'm sure I'll make mistakes along the way and um, continually, <laughs> you know, or I'm obviously I'm going to try to do my best always, but I'm going to make mistakes and I just hope that people will have forgiveness and then they'll forgive me when I overstep. I try to, to do the same thing. And so I try to humble myself sometimes and think of the things that I've done that, that haven't been always top notch or great and offer apologies where due and, and just try to try to get better. And I think that's what Kaizen is supposed to be about getting better every day. I think we could all use that sort of philosophy in our lives, um, in our relationships, in our hobby and everything. But mostly we can use it when it comes to being kind. So <laughs> let's get better at that. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And I know some people have mentioned recently, why don't we just take a break from the hobby with all these family health issues and so on and Quite honestly, doing this um, is sort of therapeutic for me. I like doing it. I like interacting with people. It is a nice distraction. I get to share my thoughts and feelings. And I'm in communication with, with great people. And it's, it's sort of a support mechanism um, for me. And so that's why I continue to do it. And, and also because I just love it. And I'm sure I'll take breaks along the way. But I'm not somebody that just came into this for a year or two. I've been here for a long time. And God willing, I'll be here for many years to come. So um, I love doing it. That's why I'm doing it. Okay. Shaving Shop Club Signature. Excellent, excellent, beautiful scent. High marks in every regard. I absolutely love it. We use the Ariana and Evans uh, brush. Captain's Choice Bolt, which I forget to mention a lot. Rockwell 6C. Fantastic. Look for it on sale. I'll put some links below. That It's around 50 bucks. Six plates, six different settings, or actually three plates with two settings each awesome razor. We're going to finish up today with the Murphy and McNeil BDLM. This is a terrific fragrance. It, again, I didn't bring a lot of aftershave, so I'm going to use this one today. And man, do I like this one. This was a killer collaboration between Bill Murphy McNeil. Chicano Designs. I think the gentleman's name is Rafa. I don't know him personally. I don't think I've ever spoken to him, but terrific combination for me of artwork scent and this one is a i'm just going to go for another round why not the world being what it is or my world being what it is i can use all the brightness that i can get and all the joy i can get and uh, thank you for providing some of that joy i really appreciate it thanks so much for watching as always i've been your host cdb reminding you it's your shave do it your way and as always god bless